Spring and summer 2024 fashion is all about frills and bows, girly stuff. I'm all in. I found this free summer dress pattern, which checks all the boxes. It's the Milana dress by Vicky Saws, and I decided to make it. Hi, welcome to my eclectic channel. My name is Agnes and I make videos for fun. We've been working on the back of the skirt to accommodate wider hips. Here's the new pattern piece for the back of the skirt. It doesn't bear much resemblance with what we started out with. Um, much closer to a rectangle. Not cute anymore, but hopefully it'll get over my hips. Of course, now it will no longer fit this one. Like there's no way I can stitch those two together and, and obtain anything sensible. Uh, first thing, of course, is I gotta lengthen this by the same amount of seven centimeters. I'll use the same method, uh, separate those two pieces, spread them apart and uh, straighten out the sides. <laughs> All right, uh, pattern, <laughs> pattern check. This is the back piece for the skirt. This is uh, the front piece that I just lengthened. The side seams need to match and they do. If I run this from one end and then I make it, I have to rotate it because one has a curve and the other doesn't, but you see that from end to end, we're matching exactly. So here we go. I think this is worth another mock up, just the skirt part. So I'm going to cut these two uh, out of my, uh, my old bed sheet, base stitch the pieces together, like make a new mock up and see how this goes. All right. I was not expecting this, but the, the changes that I, I made to the back of the skirt just worked. The dress slips on a lot more easily now, uh, and I really have no concerns. I mean, this, this is looking great. Uh, I, I gathered the back with a base stitch for now. Um, this will, be, this will eventually be an elastic, but this is falling nicely. Uh, and even the, the hemline is, is pretty even. I mean, this is uh, might be a tad bit longer in the back, but that can fluctuate with how the, the skirt sits in the back. And really, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be uh, noticeable. And it doesn't ride as, as high <laughs> when you sit down. Another thing about this pattern that I'm not a fan of is uh, the ruffles at the neckline. It's got this, oh, I happen to be wearing a top like that today. Uh, it's got this really uh, vi uh, villain from the 1980s anime <laughs> vibe. <laughs> I might be traumatized, um, but not, not my thing. And if I, if I use a less structured fabric, I realize that it won't be like, <laughs> like it is on the model uh, but even then um, so I've seen something different on, on a number of tops and dresses that I like better and it's this little ruffle here so instead of having ruffle at the neckline I'm going to be adding little ruffles at the sleeve I, I just borrowed a pattern piece from another free top that I'm linking under the video so this dress is now ready to be cut on the fashion fabric Speaking of fashion fabric, uh, I went fabric shopping today um, and I uh, I was actually looking for a solid color, however, this was on clearance sale and I just fell in love with it. Uh, it's the, the color is a very pretty blue. It works well uh, with my tone, my skin tone. And another thing that uh, I liked about it, aside from the fact that it was on clearance sale, is that it's a thinner cotton. This is my cutting layout. Uh, I got a full two yard of fabric. Uh, that was the, the recommended amount was 1.67 yards. I rounded it up and I have quite a hard time getting everything to fit. 
Um, so I would recommend that you get more than what they say. I think part of the reason is that I did lengthen the skirt uh, and I widened it, but I do believe I followed the guidelines for the little taller as opposed to the 154 centimeters. Um, that refers to the height of, of the person. Yeah, so I think I went with number two, the little taller one, but even then uh, they recommend under two yards. I got a full two yards. And guys, I had to scratch and scratch and scratch my head on this jigsaw puzzle, but I did it. And also, I'm not even cutting all of the flounces that they have. Mine is smaller, but maybe it takes as much room because it doesn't fit with the others uh, the same way. So here's what I've settled on. Uh, so we only need one of these, so we're set. We need one of these, we're all set. We're going to need two of these. These only fit if I put one like this and I put the other one <laughs> the other way because they're not perfect uh, rectangles. Um, and it's fine because my, my print is non-directional. So as long as I follow the green line, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, and then this is a piece that I borrowed from the, the, the top, the, the other pattern, the puppy tank sleeve top. And uh, I need, they, they're cut on the fold, first of all. So the full piece goes like this. And I need two of them. So one of them is going to be cut right here. And then the other one is going to be cut down here. And yes, it well, I can pull this up, but it, the, it fits exactly. Like there is not much to spare width wise. And then on the other side, We've got the two flounces. So I need one of this one and one of this one. And then comes the bodies. Uh, so this also fits in a very, very particular, particular way. This is the front bodies. I need two of these. And this is, I'm sorry, that's the, uh, this is the back, the back bodies. I need two of these. It's a small piece. And this is the front bodies. And I need two of these. So one is going to be cut over here and one is going to be cut over here. So my four total body species will be on, on this end. <laughs> so a really an exact fit. dress I need to come up with a different method to finish the neckline and the best way is to do a facing and we'll work on that next time thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like